In this video, we are going to see the difference between volatile and synchronized keyword. But before we move on, let's go into the computer architect. We basically have hard disk, RAM and CPU. We call it processor, right? And whenever we write our Java programs dot Java files, it is stored on hard disk. And when we try and execute those programs, JVM will allocate some memory into our RAM. And with the help of CPU, it start executing our program, right? So for this video, we are only going to see the interaction between processor and RAM. So let's visualize it in a better way. So the first rectangle here you see, let's call it processor. Here you see there are multiple cores. So you might have heard about dual core, octa core, quad core processors, right? A single processor can have multiple core. One core is capable of running one thread at a time. So this is a quad core processor. It has four cores. That means it can parallelly execute four threads, right? And let's say a rectangle below is a RAM and we executed some Java program and then JVM has allocated some memory. So let's, you know, visualize in this way. And there is one more important concept here is a processor cache. Each core has its own cache. You might have heard about, you know, L1 cache, L2 cache. If you don't like that's not an issue because we are going to see what caching does. So you might already know that caching is used to improve the performance. Say suppose core one want to read some value from the RAM. It has to go to the RAM, read the value and then do some, you know, operations and write the value back to the RAM. And if it want to, you know, read it again, it will have to go to the RAM again and then read the value, do the performance and write back the value. So to avoid going back and forth from the RAM, core one will use cache and it will cache the value so that next time it will not go to the RAM and it, it, it will just, you know, read the value from its cache. So that's why we need cache. So for simplicity, let's consider only two cores and each core has its own cache and employee class which has only name of employee and the salary of an employee when we create a new object employee even equal to new employee the object will be created inside a heap memory right which is allocated by jvm in the ram so let's say this is our object and we have three operations one is let's say employee has done a very good job and company wants to give him a bonus of 500 rupees and then there comes a tax every employee has to give tax to the government so that is a tax and third one is the provident fund pf so pf will also be debited from the salary and now let's consider that each of the operation has to be performed by different threads because unless and until you consider it's a multi-threaded environment right volatile keyword and synchronized keyword will not be visible visible as in they will not come into picture unless and until it is a multi-threaded environment right uh, let's say a thread one is going to perform this operation of bonus and thread one is picked up by our core one so what core one will do it will go to the ram read the value and put it into its cache then perform the operation and then set the value in the cache the cache is now updated and will also write the value into the ram like simple right that's how the operation will perform now our T1 is completed. Now let's say T2 is started and T2 is let's say picked up by another core. So similarly T2 will go and read the value from RAM, update its cache, perform the operation, update its cache and then write the value into the RAM. Simple right? Everything is happening correctly. Now let's say our third thread has come and our third thread T3 is picked up by our first core. So if you see here, the core one cache is stale cache. It's invalid cache because it is not aware of the changes that has been done into the RAM, right? So what it will do is it will just get the value from the cache, but it does not know whether this you know, value in the RAM has been changed or not. It knows that it has value that is cached to it. So it will just use that value, perform the operation, update the cache and will try and write the value to the RAM. So that's an issue, right? Because the core has perform operation on stale data. How do we avoid that? So to avoid that situation, we have volatile keyword. So when we write volatile in front of a variable, then in that case, processor will never use cache. It will always go to 
RAM, read the latest value and write the value directly at the RAM. So this caching mechanism here, it will be bypassed, right? So if we bypass this caching mechanism, right, then our operation will always be correct if it is happening sequentially. You agree with that, right? So if you read it here, processor will always fetch latest value from RAM for volatile variable and it won't use cached value. So that way our one problem is solved in multi-threading. There is one more problem in multi-threading. So the problem is you see here employee class. It has one method update salary, which takes, you know, uh, the amount and the type of operation. So if the type is increment, it will increment the salary by a given amount. Otherwise, it will just decrement the salary by the given amount. OK, and now let's consider for simplicity. We have only two tasks adding bonus to the salary and subtracting tax from the salary. So consider T1 and T2 are simultaneously picked by two threads. So if you see here, this particular code here is called as critical code and you will understand like why it is called as critical code. OK, so this T1 and T2 are two threads that are picked by two cores simultaneously. So they will try and execute this method simultaneously. So it will go to the RAM. It will read the value. It will perform the operation and it, it is going to set the value to the variable. But say suppose core one is able to set the value that is 10,500 and then core two is able to write the value. Then it will overwrite the existing value and the value become 9,000 or vice versa. It become 10,500, right? Both the values are wrong because if you execute then the value should be 9500 right because you add bonus and then you add tax right so this particular code here you see update salary this code is a critical code because this code cannot be executed parallelly this should always be executed sequentially otherwise there would be incorrect answer right so this code is called as critical code because this code cannot be executed parallelly it has to execute sequentially otherwise there will be an issue that we saw in previous slide right and when this critical code is executed by two threads simultaneously and this particular situation is called race condition so when two threads try to execute critical code simultaneously that's the race condition uh, i'm just giving you like what is critical code and race condition just for your information like it's not needed so how do we avoid two threads simultaneously executing this particular line of codes right so to avoid that java has provided a synchronized keyword so when we write synchronized keyword in front of this method this method becomes synchronized that means only one thread will be able to execute this code at a given time so say suppose these two threads are running on two cores and each of them try to you know execute update salary method but only one thread will be able to get the lock and will able to execute this code and once that thread completes and then and only then another thread will be able to execute that code by acquiring this lock and then perform the operation right so that is what synchronized keyword is let's summarize the difference between volatile keyword and the synchronized keyword when a variable is volatile so you see here only a variable can be a volatile okay so when a variable is volatile then processor will always fetch latest value from ram it will not cache its value in the processor cache okay that is why we need volatile keyword and in a method or a block of code is synchronized okay so synchronous keyword is used over method and a block of code so when it is synchronized then only one thread will be able to execute that code other thread will wait until the executing thread finishes its execution and then the next thread will acquire the lock and execute okay and in synchronized block or in synchronized method whatever instance variable that you are using are always going to be volatile you write it there or not it is handled automatically by java okay so that is the difference between volatile keyword and synchronized keyword so if you need any uh, explanation on any other topics just let me know in the comments thank you bye bye